Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius for the month of August. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But if not, um, then simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So setting the tone for this reading, we have, first of all, we have refusing to see. I had to bring that up. Um, typically I would not have flipped this deck over, but uh, because I see it at the heart of the reading, that it was part of the issue, I, I, I'm allowing this card in. I feel it belongs here um, to set the tone for this reading. We have this card of a move. And we have the healing begins. The energies currently are guiding you towards a better place concerning dealings of the heart. This is why, you see, there was something you were not seeing that you needed to see. And so now the healing can begin. These energies coming in bring new information, possibly new ideas, and maybe new people. They will assist you in evaluating your current situation and help you improve it. Now, the card of move. Now is the time to take action towards this healing when it comes to matters of the heart. If you're looking for a relationship, then take the initiative to find one. Take advantage of the many ways to meet your soulmate. This card is about action. If your current relationship is not moving in the direction you wish, do whatever is required to shift that direction. You are the master of your own destiny, and that includes your relationships. Don't wait for others to make the first move or set the tone for the relationship. Take charge. Now, here you were waiting. You were waiting for something. You were in denial of something, refusing to see something. And you know what that is. Now, it's in the reverse, so now we know the results that did come in were not what you were expecting. And that's normal because you were in denial. You were refusing to see. So the results, the information that they mentioned here in these oracle cards that come to you were meant to make you open your eyes when it comes to matters of the heart and dealing with with matters of the heart. There was something you were refusing to see. This information that initially disappointed you is actually going to help you. There was a conflict. And you could not see the way forward here. This had to do with perhaps um, a second chance or a um, a move towards a reconciliation, uh, maybe this ended badly. And you're looking at the details of it, you see, wondering what to do. This is a card that indicates perhaps um, a culmination of discussions or meetings that comes to a bad ending, unable to agree go your separate ways, disappointed. So someone is looking at this, or they were, and they, they couldn't see a way out, but there actually is a way out. And this is a lot of negative thinking. The Nine of Wands uh, is somebody who's wounded. The head is bandaged. Um, C 
see, this is somebody taking negative uh, or taking, <clears throat> excuse me, cautious action born from negative experiences. Having to do with the past. Burdens that somebody carries from the past. Perhaps this is what you weren't seeing. Perhaps experiences from the past were dictating the way that you were dealing with matters of the heart. And whatever you were waiting on and disappointed you opened your eyes to that fact that this is where change needed to happen. In order to, um, in order to create a better future. See, looking back, where's the, the hermits looking back to the past for his answers to create direction for the future, so the healing can begin. Yes, you see, the light is here. He's looking back to the past. It's dark. It's dark. There's, um, there's a new opportunity that's going to be brought forward here. You might, uh, think that this is over, but um, it's almost like I want to say it's not over. It's almost like it's, it's just beginning because now you'll be able to free yourself from the past and heal these wounds because this is not over. It's going to start again. You can't see it coming, but it is. And the wheel is going to bring it in because once you've learned what you're supposed to learn, and that's what you're going to do here, it's why everything's happen, happening, then you get the new opportunity. You get another chance, but to do it differently. The Fool, the Ace of Rods. This is a door that reopens on the past. It's an opportunity again to do it, uh, to do it again, but you know, like to do it right, I keep hearing. There's a discussion, an opportunity to have your happily ever after. You don't have this news yet, but it's coming. You will have it soon. And when it comes, like, of course, with the wheel, you have free will. You know, you can choose to take it or you can choose to walk away from it. But I, I, I can't tell you what to do. But if you take this door, knowing what you know now, it will take you to your Ten of Cups. Be because, and I'm telling you, because I know you're going to be hesitant. You're going to be afraid that maybe it might blow up in your face again. But if you learned what you were supposed to learn here, it won't. So you end up having to make this decision, which you will be in conflict about, um, because of the head, because of the mind, the mind uh, maybe not ready to give in to the heart or to what the heart wants. A decision to 
move forward alone or to take this, uh, recon this offer of reconciliation. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my uh, videos. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.